But whether in first place or not, Special Olympics athletes have a winning attitude. The Area 5 swimming competition took place at Little Falls Middle School yesterday. Becky Parker tells us about the display of support from both fans and athletes. Camaraderie and competition showed in full force at Little Falls Middle School. The Area 5 Special Olympics swimming competition featured athletes from six central Minnesota teams. We hope we do our the best at swimming. Go again, uh, blue swimming. The Special Olympics program gives athletes with intellectual disabilities an opportunity to show their skills. To qualify for the Region 5 event, athletes must begin training eight weeks before the meet. But that's just the minimum, and some teams swim the extra mile. In Brainerd, we swim once a week all school year, so our athletes are very well trained. We pass a lot in our high school swimming pool. <laughs> Fans packed the pool deck, hooting and hollering at each whistle, supporting the athletes alongside coaches and volunteers who make it all happen. Members of the Little Falls High School swim team volunteered part of their day to help out at the meet. It's really good for all these kids so that they can get like involved in something and they have something to look forward to coming here. It's just nice for them. I just love seeing all the kids and try their hardest and it's really cute to watch them all. Some swimmers will advance to the state aquatics competition in Edina during the April spring games. But at the end of the day, Special Olympics events are about much more than blue ribbons. The athletes have a great opportunity to compete, to visit with friends, to enjoy the day be special recognition just to show off what they can do. And they showed what they could do by competing determinedly and supporting one another. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. Area 5 includes Aiken, Cass, Crow Wing, Morrison and Todd Counties.